She needs no introduction. Elvira, the mistress of the dark, returns. For Elvira's asylum. And who was at Scarlet? A lot of you were at Scarlet. Unfortunately, there will be no bounce house in the show. That is only for me. Okay. Elvira, the legendary mistress of the dark, returns in a spectacular all-new show, Elvira's Asylum, featuring insane levels of music, dance, and comedy. Let's hear it for Elvira! We love Elvira. And the other show is... The Hanging Street Out Taco! returns to Calico Square, the lawman is back to once again rid the world of the past year's most notorious and obnoxious offender while battling his toughest challenge to date. And what do you think that is? It's an audience armed with smartphones. That's right. For the first time ever in hanging history, you, the audience, will write the show. So, if it sucks, you have only yourself to blame. <laughs> and that's what they wrote for me. I love that. So, uh, smartphone in hand, because you know what? Why experience something when you can be on your phone? Okay. <laughs> the Hanging Baby, straight out of Calico. Who loves the Hanging? <laughs> How many times have we killed Justin Bieber? Yeah. <laughs> and the answer is, not enough, right? He's not even relevant anymore. What? I, bet, I bet if we brought Justin Bieber up to hanging this year, the audience would go, Who is that? Is that Jimmy Fallon? I don't know who that is. Oh, the greatest revenge is time, isn't it? <laughs> All right. We're going to keep this moving here, folks. We're going to talk about the Scare Zones of Not Scary Park 2015. And the first one is... Fiesta de los Muertos! Dance, music, and colorful costumes and larger-than-life still walkers in a dance party scare zone with even more characters than last year, the ultimate late-night celebration of Dia de los Muertos, right? We love it. Ole, right? And here's a favorite right here. Carnival! Anybody love clowns? Anybody terrified of clowns? Anybody happy with both? Me, I'm terrified of Ronald McDonald, that's right. It needs no interruption because each night the clowns of the carnival, of the boardwalk, terrorize everybody in a scare zone they said would never work, and yet the clowns made it scary. They are some of the most hardworking monsters and haunt. We love the clowns of Carnival, right? All right. And right here, folks, where Scary Farm was born, right here. Ghost Town! Ghost Town! Ghost Town! All right. The original, the largest, most terrifying scare zone that started it all. Ghost Town features, are you ready? Bands of half-human, half-minimal monsters that prowl the streets and inhabit the fog. This is where I got the term, see you in the fog, right here in Ghost Town. And there's something new this year. First off, it's bigger than ever. It's the biggest Ghost Town scare zone we've ever done. There is no safe place to hide anywhere, except maybe the bathroom. And trust me, if you're hiding in the bathroom, I've seen monsters prowl outside 10, 20 minutes, waiting for you to come out. New this year, there will be a new character inhabiting Ghost Town. He'll have his own little tiny area. He's ready to inhabit it. And he is, I'm getting to it, sweetheart. I like it. He is the doll maker. And he, uh, he 
may have some ties to a very famous maze that used to be here. Called the Doll Factory. Any Doll Factory fans? I love Doll Factory. So the fact that the doll maker is back is fantastic. It'll be up to you to find out where he is and what he's up to. And let me tell you, it's worth the trouble, the doll maker. All right, those are the scare zones, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Before we get to the lineup of mazes, because mazes are coming next, everybody, right now, look under your seats. Under four or five seats, there is an envelope. Did you get one? Like four or five magic golden tickets. Look at everybody. Yes! Look at you guys. The most movement I've ever seen. Who's got one? Can we bring the house lights up for a second? Is that possible? hunt a little harder. Two tickets to Scary Farm. Two Fright Lane passes. And two Fast Lane passes if you're one of those guys who needs to go on rides while you're here. Anyone? Can we find them? All right, well, they're out there. Everybody settle down. Oh, wait, I have, I have, I have the fifth one right here. It says, I've won a date with one of the ghouls. I will, I will save that for later. And I will hope it's one of the two that brought me out. All right, are we done with that, everybody? Code four, are we good? Did we find all four? Do we know? So we did find them, okay. No, this one's mine, baby. All right, here we go. All right, now, okay, everybody settle in. We're, we're doing it. We're, we're rolling down here. It's time to talk about returning mazes. Here we go. All right. Do you follow us on Facebook, everybody? A lot of it announced on Facebook, on Facebook, so on MySpace too, but only two people heard about it. So, all right. The first returning maze is Pinocchio Unstrung. It returns bigger and better than ever with a brand new Skeleton Key Room. Yeah. Pinocchio is strong, right? The Blue Fairy doesn't grant him his wish, doesn't turn him into a real little boy, so he stops the town looking for skin to make himself real. Like anybody would. Like anybody would. Let's get him a break. Pinocchio is strong returns, everybody. You ready to keep going? Yeah. Are you sure you've been earning up? It's like, look, Jeff, we're good. We gotta go. AMP is having a sale. Let's go. Let's continue. Returning Black Magic with an all new skeleton key room. Houdini's vengeful spirit wreaks havoc. You will encounter Houdini and all his failed illusions of people getting chopped up into a final confrontation with Houdini in hell, of course, because where else would he be? Black Magic remains a favorite. Its first year was one of the most popular debuts ever here at Not Scary Farm, and we're happy that it's returning. Should we keep going? Let's go. Also returning right here, folks, Trick or Treat. But it's not the same old house you've seen. Take a brave step forward, ring the bell of the witch's house, and inside you will find the never-before-seen potion room and the bewitched attic. And at the end, you'll be a special guest at the Green Witch's deadly dinner party where she and her menacing tricksters await your arrival. Yeah. Gotta love the tricksters, right? <laughs> Thank you, one guy, yeah, okay, we like him. All right, also returning right here. Forevermore. And yes, the guy on the slide did not see it coming. Follow the destruction of the Forevermore Killer, one haunting tale of another. And for the first time ever, Skeleton 
Key Room on Forevermore. So you can find out what this Forevermore killer has been up to. All right, folks, we're going to keep going. We're going to take it down a notch. We're going to break it down, dim the lights, and show you the return of Voodoo, Order of the Serpent. <laughs> to conjure a serpent, demon, goddess. That's what that guy's up to. I should have known. I've been trying to conjure a serpent, demon, goddess since I was like 14. All right. You will drudge to the cursed swamps with an all new skeleton key room for voodoo, order of the serpent. All right. Brace yourselves, folks. This makes people really nauseous. Are you ready? Roll it, the return. Of Tooth Fairy. Yes, my name.
Well, well, guys, I got some bad news. We're going back in. After your successful mission, we were able to administer the antivirus to one of our subjects and successfully combat the virus back into submission. But then the virus mutated, and that subject, patient zero, has escaped. So we need you to insert back into the quarantine zone and escort patient zero back out by any means necessary. However, I do have a little bit of good news for you. We were able to upgrade your weapon system. Let me introduce you to the Battle Rifle Pro. Not only is this weapon equipped with real-time scoring, but we have programmed it with a kill streak reward system. Meaning, the more zombies that you shoot, the better your weapon becomes. And trust me, you're gonna need it because there are twice as many zombies in a path that has more than double in its distance. One more thing though, to fully bring this zombie apocalypse video game to realization, we have introduced a new accountability factor. Each weapon will have a health meter. And when these lights right here go down, you're gonna have to locate a respawn checkpoint before you can get back into the action. So now that you have been briefed on Special Ops Infected Patient Zero, do I have any recruits with me tonight? Well then I guess I'll see you on the battlefield, headshots only! last year was infected because it was so much fun. I went through one time, I lost three pounds. Oh my God. And I know when he's working on, if this thing ever comes back, I know that zombies is going to go this year. Look, this year, when you shoot a zombie, he actually turns into a first aid kit. Just, just like in a video game. All right, are we ready to go? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of the first ever Western-themed maze at Not Scary Farm. This year it's all new. How? To, how? I don't know. Gunslinger's Grave. Let's do it. There's something you don't understand. This is bigger than the Red Hand Gang. There are forces at work here that you will never... Silver bullets. Gunslinger's Grave, Blood Moon Rises. Please welcome the creator, Gus Kruger. Gunslinger! Yeah, so. Let's see, last year, well actually not last year, 1884, Halloween night, Gunslinger goes out, has a little bit of a vendetta you might have seen, and he kills each and every one of the Red Hand Gang dead. 
May's over? That's gotta be the end of it, right? Oh, hell no, Jeff Tucker! <laughs> Look, you're making me even shorter than I am. I'm gonna stand up here. Okay. okay. Alright, that's my so, star. Okay. <laughs> Little does the gunslinger know that the Red Hand Gang made a pact with a local skinwalker. Now, this year they're back, and they didn't take too kindly to being shot. Oh no. It's gonna be madder, it's gonna be crazier, it's gonna have an all new finale, and it's gonna be so much furrier. Ladies and gentlemen, Gunslinger's Grave of Blood Moon Rising. Yeah! The perfect way to continue the story. It started Absolutely. out as the first themed Western maze, and now it's supernatural. Don't we always go there? Yeah. Yeah. All right, but that's not all you've got up your sleeve this year. No? No. Ladies no, and gentlemen, not. as announced at Scarlet Lake, Gus Kruger's Dead of Winter. and very, very angry Snow Queen. She's taken over the place with an army of undead Viking warriors. She is pissed, and she is gonna make each and every one of you pay. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to freeze you in the dead of winter. We, we, we were just talking, Gus, about how a lot of mazes are darkness and, and, and shadows, and this is not like that. This is a new experience because a lot of it is lit in the snow. Yeah, I always wanted to do a real high contrast maze, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity to do so. We're not going to be afraid of bright whites, we're not going to be afraid of really dark darks, and we're really not going to be afraid of, afraid of rich blood red, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we like to hear. Are you good? We are good, but wait, wait, wait. One more thing I'd like to add. You may think it's going to be all fun and games, but ladies and gentlemen, if you have that skeleton key, my little queen will be waiting for you, and she'll be very happy to see you. All right. Go through her, everybody. All right, all right. All right, here's what we gotta do. We've been screaming and yelling the whole time. We need to take it down a little bit. Just a little bit. We need to make it a little darker in here. Just a little bit. And I got a good reason for it. Because here we are, the Ghoul Time Theater, right? Yeah. Need to make it a little different. Why don't we make it by turning out the lights just a little bit more like the Calico Mine Ride. Yeah. Of the people who killed them. 
right. It sounds like light stuff, so I think it'll be great, like a little family ride through the mine ride. It's great. There's, there's two things I really want to point out uh, today is that one, we've really boosted up the technology in the mine ride since the rehab that we did. The audio has really improved, and now we're also adding video mapping. So we can really tell a story, a good ghost story, inside the mine, and we can see the progression of Clementine from a sort of innocent ghost to a more demonic, really messed well, up ghost. You grows up and you grows up, right? Yes. But there's one thing you're leaving out, the most important part, and the one they all are dying to know, which is what? Mine right has talent this year. Life journey around the world in search of ectoplasmic uh, proof that there's an existence of another world. And what are you saying in English this time? We hunt ghosts. Oh, you hunt ghosts! Oh, that's okay. I, I've seen your show. It's on basic cable. I have seen it, right? That's where you guys go into, like, old houses and stuff with, like, with, like, uh, night vision and all that, and you look for ghosts. Have you found... Okay, so you're here. Have you found any ghosts here? Not as of yet, but all the EMF detectors been going off in this area a lot recently, and we think we're on the trail of one of the biggest supernatural strongholds since that infestation over at uh, Murder Manor a few years back. I remember it. Uh, we're going to be uh, investigating Hayden Hill right here at Not Scary Farm. All right, all right. So you're going to do a live show right here. Well, 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 we're kind of in the middle of something. I'm glad you guys did that. If you come up and then just let me know. Very, very we're going to continue the show. I haven't seen readings this time. Barry, did you recall? Uh -huh. What the hell is that? Well, I mean, I recall it goes across our site. Like it was quite clean and reset, so whatever city that on, that is not a glitch. Okay, can you guys knock it off? Just knock it off. Whatever you're doing, just knock it off. What? Stocky little steadfast 
servant, Scary Farm was, cool. was born from my hand, and from my hand it shall forever rise! This is not I your fault. something special prepared for you. the fuck? 